name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of the second season of Yellowstone and I'm not even going to bury the lead this season isn't anywhere near as good as the first season. I honestly felt like the way that the story progressed and the characters went in the end of season one, this show could have been like the next Breaking Bad. Like maybe not that good, but it could be a show of such high quality that it could be deemed as one of the best. But this season made it clear that this show was heading in a more melodramatic direction, which is still fine, but it's not as great as it could have been. And for Pure escapism, it is still a really good show, so let's dive into why. Every interesting character beat at the end of season one is completely just thrown out here. It's, they don't do anything with it. Casey that teased that he might become a more sinister, darker version of himself, yeah, that doesn't happen. He actually makes the ranch a better, more happy place. And yeah, I still love the character because he is such a genuinely good guy, but I felt like it would have been more compelling and more emotional to watch this guy who lost everything that he cared for become a more darker and sinister human being. And th the direction they take his and Monica's relationship in this season is cringe -wolzy. Oh my god. This season is so melodramatic with them. They tease a love triangle that just comes out of nowhere. And they spend so much time on it. And I'm just like, what is this? It is awful stuff. Like, really. Everything with Casey and Monica in this season is just awful. And at the end of the first season, Jamie's like, I'm going to go ahead, stand up to my family. I'm going to grow a backbone. And I'm going to, you know, just try to ruin them. And then this season just immediately throws that character arc away. Instead, he wimples out, he decides to backtrack, and I really hated that. I felt like he ended in a spot in season one where he was growing, you know, he was getting tough, you know, he was standing up for himself, and this felt like a digression of his character. That's not to say he doesn't go through some interesting character beats, because he does. This season does have some emotional moments for him, there is a whole section where he's suicidal and you feel awful for the guy. But I just felt like if they followed up on the ending of season one properly, that he could have had a better character arc here, which is kind of what I said with Casey. I still like their characters in this season, but it just feels like wasted potential. Bess is still a great character, and I love her relationship with Rip in this season. There is one moment, and if you've seen this season, you know exactly what moment I'm talking about that was actually really intense and probably the best scene in this season. And it just shows you how big of a badass Bess really is, and I love her as a kill. That all said though, I do think she was a bit too mean to Jamie in this episode. There's a few spots where I'm just like, oh, you're just being nasty now. Like, I still love Bess, but there's a few moments where I really hated her this season, and... I felt like they made her a bit too over the top. They got rid of any possible humanity that the character could have had, and I don't like that. It felt kind of cartoonishly over the top. Like, she hates Jamie, so we've got to go 130%, you know, and it just felt like it was too much. There's a couple of villains in this season called the Beck Brothers, and I just thought they were really terrible. They just kind of come out of nowhere. They're not really well-developed or well set up villains and then they don't do anything interesting with them throughout the season and then at the end they're just gone you know and it just feels like what was the point of all that it didn't really feel like they had a bigger purpose and because these villains were set up to be so big and huge they it forced john to team up with his two worst enemies dan and thomas but the thing is is that the show makes it feel like this is such a huge event that the three enemies have to come together to fight the Beck Brothers. And I just felt like they did absolutely nothing with that subplot. It never felt like those three were actually working together. It gets introduced and then thrown away immediately. And it's just like, what was the point of all that build up? Like, it really amounted to nothing. I still like the supporting characters on the ranch. Especially the direction they took Walker. And the conflict between him and Rip. And how that creates conflict between Rip and Casey. That was actually the most compelling storyline throughout this season. That's where this season hit its peak in that storyline. And I loved Casey and Rip's rivalry. I thought it was some really well done stuff. And, and the show still has a great vibe to it. It's still great escapism. I still watch the show and I'm like, maybe I do want to be a cowboy. 
It's consistently entertaining, but it doesn't get anywhere close to the greatness of the first season. I've never seen Grey's Anatomy, but I just hear it's a really melodramatic show with doctors, and I feel like this season was Grey's Anatomy with cowboys. Like, that's the best way I can describe this season, I think. I haven't seen Grey, so I can't be sure, but I'm pretty sure. I know it sounds like I'm completely tearing this season apart, and I don't mean to. There was still great stuff in this season. I still watched it from beginning to end in just a few days. I was really entertained by it. I just don't think it follows up on the greatness of the fourth season. I think it takes a more safer, more less interesting route, and I would have liked them to have gone into some more riskier, darker places. It's still entertaining. You can still watch it and be like, that's some good television, but it's not great. So I'm going to go ahead and give the second season of Yellowstone a 6.5 out of 10. Okay, did you watch Yellowstone Season 2? Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin out.